Okay, so for today's class, we're going to start it with the first part of the topic number one, which is the cell structure. And this topic, actually, we're going to look at the characteristic of living organism. So basically, how you actually classify, oh, this is a living thing, this is a non-living thing, right? Okay, be careful, then we don't say non-living organism. Organism basically must be living. So it cannot be non-living organism. So I use the word non-living thing. Okay, so based on what we do know that, okay, so characteristic of living organism, we do have the seven characteristics of living organism. So we need to know, then only we can apply it to the virus. Why virus, we say that they are non-living thing. And what are the property of the viruses that you think that it might be a living organism, okay? So what are the learning outcome or what is the learning outcome for these subtopics? So first of all, you need to know all viruses, we say that they are non-cellular structure, right? They have non-cellular structures. So what are the structures that we are going to look, I mean, or what we're going to study here for the viruses? First, they have the nucleic acid core. Okay, so either can be DNA or RNA. Special. Okay, why special? So later I will tell you. Second, and the capsid made of proteins. Okay, so different, totally different. So they have the capsids or we call it as a protein coat. Okay, and some viruses, for example, we are going to learn about these viruses when we come to the topic infectious diseases, where we're going to look at this virus, which is called HIV, okay, have the outer envelope. So not all, some. Some viruses, not all of them, have these outer envelopes. For example, the one with the outer envelope, HIV. Okay, uh? So we start for today's class now. We look at the characteristic of living organism. So for the characteristic of living organism, so this is the way we actually define or classify a thing, whether it's living or non-living. Okay, so based on what? Based on these seven life processes that carry out by organism. So first, we do know that the movement followed by respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproductions, excretions, and nutrition. If I take the first alphabet of each processes, I can form an acronym called Mrs. Grants. Right? This is the way how we remember or how we actually uh, memorize these seven life processes where M stands for the movement, respirations, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretions, and nutrition. Eh? Mrs. Grant here. So the definitions that you learn in your IGCSE or in your SPM may not be totally the same. Okay, so the definitions will be uh, discussed in the activity 1.1 later. Okay, so basically movement means that how we move from one location to another location, there's a part of a movement or we call locomotions, right? So locomotion, for example, I move from my house to the college movement. But the movement not necessarily must change the place. It can be changed the position. Let's say, for example, movement of my hand. I can lift up my hand. Can I see that? I can flap my muscle. Can I see that? This also known as a movement. Okay? So sometimes you may say that Oh, certain organism may not be able to move. For plant, how they move? They don't move, right? Correct or not? So, basically, we don't use all of them on one organism, but in general, certain plant they can move. Right? Okay, certain plant they can move. For example, Mimosa pudica. When you touch it, the leaf actually close. They can move. Can you see that? They can move. It changes shape, right? It moves. So in this case, we consider plants, they can move, okay? How about respiration? Now, be careful respirations here. Respiration in this idea is the chemical respiration. Now, what is mean chemical respiration? Respirations, sometimes people actually, uh, or students confuse with the gas exchange. Gas exchange means that we take in O2, remove CO2. 
that is gas exchange. But when talk about respiration, basically means that it's a chemical reactions that use the oxygen and release the CO2 in the process of forming ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which we're going to discuss it in the next subtopic, which is 1.2. Okay, sensitivity, very, very important for most of us, particularly we want to escape from the danger. If you try to imagine someone want to slap you, you won't stand still for the people to step, eh, slap you, right? Or kill you. So in this case, sensitivity, for example, our receptor, we can see the danger. Okay, we can escape from the danger. So sensitivity, growth, we know that increase in terms of the number of the cells, but for multicellular organism, that's one. Second, also increase in terms of the mass. Okay, um, reproductions, in this case, not only the activities only, but how we produce the gametes, how we produce okay, the zygotes, and then continue with the fetus and also the infants here. Excretions, be careful. Excretion where we actually remove the metabolic waste. So very important is a metabolic waste. Okay, Don't confuse the excretion and the ejection. Ejection basically means that undigested waste okay are uh, different and last but not least is the nutrition where we need the nutrient to grow right so why we learn about these seven okay so i try i'm going to relate it to the topics that we are going to learn okay so movement particularly we talk about muscle contraction we're going to learn in a2 okay respiration we're going to learn in a2 how we carry out the respiration Sensitivity, we're going to learn in A2O as well, okay? Where, how we detect the danger. When it touch on the hot surface, how we inform the brain, oh, the surface is hot, okay? Growth and reproductions, we're going to learn it in AS and A2. Excretion, again, we're going to learn in A2, okay? Nutrition, again, we're going to learn in the uh, biological molecule. Why this biological molecule contributes to the nutrition for us, this will be AS. So basically, in our biology syllabus, we are going to link all this biological life process together. Okay? So now, take five minutes time to complete this activity 1.1. Okay, so assume that you guys have done. Okay, I assume that you guys have done for the activity 1.1. So let us look at the answer. Okay, so see whether you get it correctly or not. And I hope that you guys get correct. In this case, look at across. Okay, for number four. So the process that make more of the same kinds of the organism. So it means that you make more. Okay, so reproduction. It can be asexual reproduction or sexual reproductions. Okay, so number four. So the answer is reproductions, okay? So no problems. Okay, now look at number five, eh? across for number five. A permanent increase in size and dry mass by increasing the cell number, size of the cells, okay? So or both together. So this one must be growth, right? Eh? G, eh? growth, number five, okay? So the growth. So next, number six, okay? The ability to detect and send the stimuli, say, eh? in internal or external environment. Now, what's the internal? Now, what kind of stimuli belongs to internal? For example, your blood pH, the blood's oxygen concentration, your blood CO2 concentration, your internal core temperature. So those are internal environment. Okay, external? External, basically, you detect what? The temperature of very cold because in the aircon room, right? For example, so this one we call it as a sensitivity. Okay, sensitivity, so number six. Okay, sensitivity. And number seven, okay, removal from the organism of the waste products of metabolism. So it means that is the metabolic waste. Eh? Write down metabolic waste. It's not the waste of undigested uh, food particle. Okay, so in this case, it's called as the Respiration. I say, uh, remove. Sorry, excretion. Okay, excretion. Eh? number seven, excretion. 
Okay, yeah? so we have done for the across. Okay, so then we continue for the downs. Okay, chemical reaction in the cell that break down the nutrient molecule and ATP molecule are synthesized. Now, here, be careful. We learned in physics before. We learned in physics before. Okay, we cannot produce energy and we cannot destroy energy. So this process takes place in the mitochondria. What we synthesize or what we produce is the ATP molecule. So this ATP molecule, we will be, uh, we're, going to, uh, we're going to look at it. Okay, next subtopic 1.2 when we study the mitochondria. Okay, so now number, eh, number one here, answer is the respiration. So check answer with the okay, respiration. Okay. Yeah. So now actions by an organism or part of organism cause a change of the positions or the place or location. Okay, so number two will be movement. Okay. And number three, eh, taking off material for energy, growth and development. So for example, plant require light energy, carbon dioxide and water and ions. So animal need the organic compound ions and also water. So the answer here is the nutrition. Okay, so this is the final answer for 1.1. Okay, so far, if you have any questions, feel free, feel free to text me. Okay, and the checkpoint 1.1 is, right, is already open. So it means that the form accept you got your response. So later, if you want to check whether uh, you get all the concept correct or not, so you can go to the checkpoint 1.1. 1. 1. Okay, so I stopped.